Hi and welcome back. For today's project I'm starting in making my background using this DecoArt chalky finish paint called Yesteryear. And I'm using some water to blend it out so I'm left with a soft background. The second step is coloring these three torn strips. I'm using the color Vintage and I want some texture in my background. So after laying down my first layer and drying it, I'm going back in by dipping it directly into my paint and I'm also splattering some paints on top of it. Now my paints are out on my table, I'm also using them to color some cambric. And now my cambric is dry, I decided I wanted to add in a bit more of the grey. The next step is some stamping. I'm going for the bee on the Creepers and Crawler set from Illusionary Artists and also the word Soul Search from the Perfect Words set. I also want some stamping on my strips, so I'm using a stamp from the London New York set. I want some depth in the stamping, so I'm using two different shades of grey. I have temporarily attached my strips in my Misty, 
giving me the possibility to stamp a first time using the shadow grey and then I can come in a second time when I have inked up only parts of the words with the darker grey watering can. I have glued down my strips on my background and to get them to stand out a bit more I'm just shading them using a charcoal pencil and a paper stump. I don't want to add color to my bee, just a tiny bit of depth, so I'm using my charcoal pencil again to do so. To finish off my bee, I'm putting some Deco Art Crackle Glaze on the wings. And then it's time to put everything together. While I wait for this Crackle Glaze to dry and do its thing, I already go ahead and use my sewing machine to attach my cambric to my background before gluing everything else down. 